says, in the emerging culture, darkness represents spirituality. Darkness represents spirituality. We are to be what? The light of the world. So what does darkness have with light? Nothing. There's nothing, uh, nothing in comparison. He, said, he continues, we see this in Buddhist temples and as well as Catholic and Orthodox churches. Darkness communicates that something serious is happening. I agree with that last statement. Something serious is happening within God's church. And as you see, a lot of these leaders in this movement within the Seventh-day Adventist Church are teaching at our universities. Does that not give you uh, chills up your spine? They're shaping the minds of many of our young people today. Parents, if you have kids nowadays, today, as young as you can find them, you need to get in their spirituality because it is ever-present that Satan is working within our church. And he's trying to change it. As that gentleman said, Brian McLaren told that gentleman to go back into your church and be a work of change. So I hope it, <coughs> excuse me, I hope this may uh, spark a little interest in you to get more deeper in your studies. Let, let yourself know that there's a lot out there and it's a lot to take in, but if you don't start taking it in and you don't start passing it on, especially to your kids, you will be deceived. There's no doubt about it. So I hope and pray that each and every one here today will dig deeper and do what is necessary so that the next generation, especially the kids in our church, will not be deceived. Uh, I've been asked to give the final prayer, so let's, let us pray. Father in heaven, I thank you again for this opportunity, and I pray wholeheartedly. I, I know it's not things that we want to talk about and necessarily. It's painful at times, but Father, it is the truth. And as you said, the truth will set us free. And if we do know about these things, Father, we are responsible. And I pray that in that responsibility, Father, we will find the time to dig deeper inside ourselves and and in your word and in the spirit of prophecy to make sure that ourselves as well as the future of the church, the kids that we have, will not be deceived. We pray these things, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus and pray for the the remainder of this worship service, as it is for the youth today, as they serve, that you will bless them in Jesus' name. Amen.
morning, I'm Sabbath Abriot. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all here in the West uh, County Church. We're so glad that you're here. Um, today is our the uh, youth Sabbath, um, so we're going to be leading. We're really glad to be here today. Um, thank you for giving us the chance to come and worship uh, with you and uh, uh, bless the Lord for using us. Um, I tell you, it's a, it's a great honor to be here um, and serve the Lord. Um, so let's just start with a word of prayer and we'll get into our um, program. Good morning, Father. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for um, the chance to come and worship you. Please um, be with us, help us, and um, help us to um, give the message that you want us to hear today. In your name we pray. Amen. Um, so some announcements. Um, today is the youth um, service, as I mentioned, so we will be leading um, we want to point out the uh, June evangelistics meetings um, coming up, so think of it, uh, pray for it, and if you have a friend that you would like